Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. Well, today we're out in Elmhurst, Illinois at Larry Roche Car Show, which starts off the car show season. And I'm here with Bruce. Bruce, good to see you. What's your last name? It's Bruce Biancolana. Bruce Biancolana. And Bruce, you have a car that, well, it's going to catch people's attention, absolutely, because it was designed to catch people's attention. What did you bring today? I brought an ambulance. It's a 1970 Cadillac, but it's made by Miller Meteor. And it's a 48-inch uh, volunteer ambulance that was is a Chicago Fire Department ambulance. Now, how do you get a Chicago Fire Department ambulance? Take one. Oh, that wasn't easy. Uh, the problem with with Chicago was is most of the ambulances they had went to scrap. They never got rid of them. So getting a Chicago ambulance wasn't easy. Yeah. So I got the next best thing. In 1970, they did a Model Cities grant. Chicago had already ordered six Cadillac Millimeteor ambulances that were on order from Millimeteor. When they got the grant, they got a bunch of cars that came in for free on the grant. They canceled three cars. This is one of the three cars that they canceled that ultimately was sold to Romeoville Fire Department. And then from Romeoville Fire Department, it got auctioned off and went on to a, a Ogala Indian Reservation in South Dakota. So I had to go get this out in the field on the Indian Reservation in South Dakota. And that's how I got the car. Wow. All right. So let's take a look at what you have brought today. Come alongside me. <laughs> this is designed to catch your attention. We will turn all the lights on in a moment and the siren and... Then it'll really catch your attention, but look at this beauty. So Bruce, how long have you, number one, restored it? When was the original restore to look like the original fire department? Because this paint looks like it's back in that time frame. Well, the car, the car's actually been together probably for about three years now. Okay. Um, but before that, I've ha I had the car probably six to seven years prior, and the restoration actually took a good five years uh, to get together, a lot of research went into it. Wow. The lighting was one of the hardest things to find because when it was sitting on the Indian reservation, it had gotten uh, vandalized. All the glass was broken out of it. The lights were all kicked off and smashed down. Um, the light in the middle up there is called the uh, Mars Aurora Borealis which is a, uh, a Mars icon light. These are made by Millimeteor. These are called Millimeteor Garden Guardian Lights. Okay. My dilemma was buying these lights and getting the right side front. I must have bought probably about 30 of these as they kept popping up on eBay and different yeah. places before I could complete it. So those lights ended up being a real expensive proposition to get for this car. Um, of course, the car had to be all stripped down. It had to be painted. Um, the, the dents out of the roof had to be taken out from them jumping up and down on it. Oh boy. You know, so. Let's keep looking at her. The, the good news was the car was not rusty. And there's your Miller Meteor badge, the Volunteer badge, the all important cross, and more of these lights. I mean, you've got the antenna in the center there. I mean, the accuracy was paramount in it. I've built, I've built a lot of uh, vintage emergency vehicles. That one being one of them, I was involved in the, the paintwork on that one. Um, you know, there's, we have an association that we call the Vintage Fleet, and it has a lot of police cars and ambulances and little, you know, fire vehicles and that type of thing. Yeah. And this is kind of the corner at the show. This year I opted to bring the ambulance instead of bringing a police car. Can we open this sure. door? And just to show you, there's a normal sized person. Look at the size of this door. I mean... Take these out of the way. You just gotta have somewhere to sit when you come to these things. That is really amazing. And I'll show you something really interesting. Yeah, when go ahead, get, show When me. we get to that door up All there, right. I'll show you what's called a an inhalator. When uh, they called for an ambulance in Chicago in these years, well, this is just a compartment. That's all yeah. that is. Okay. Um, but when they when they called for an ambulance, they yeah. called for an inhalator. That's an inhalator. what this car was called an inhalator. Reason was is they had inhalators in the cars. In the time span that this car was roaming the earth, uh, when it was new, 
Chicago only did ambulance work for police, fire, and anything that happened on a city city dwelling or building. Okay. Okay. If if you were in your house and you needed an ambulance, when you called an ambulance, you got a private ambulance company. Okay. You did not get the Chicago ambulances. So let's take a look at this animal motor. It's a big handle. <laughs> They had ashtrays actually in there, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and there's an ashtray. <laughs> so, this is something that could be removed and brought out. And what this was was a negative and positive pressure breathing apparatus that would actually breathe for people that couldn't breathe. And they're quite an interesting thing. Uh, the, the thing is with these is they have been not used by the EMS anymore because it's just they had the, the propensity to be able to actually um, over inflate lungs <laughs> over inflate lungs and they would get they would have problems so they stopped they're still used in surgical procedures but they look different nowadays how did you find this box <laughs> The Chicago Police Chaplain helped me find this box. Wow. We'll give him a shout out. Look at this. Father Tom Nangle helped me find this. Thank you, Father Tom. And, That's uh, unbelievable. If you, it, you get it, the oxygen tanks. Yeah, there's extra oxygen scales up Looks there. Looks like a jump seat here. Jump seat. A jump seat here. Tell me what's what's here. This is the controls. It's just kind of funny to see an ambulance with an ambulance. That's what that guy was just mentioning. <laughs> <laughs> they even had them back here. Yeah. And then you have the fans and the lights and things like that, the air conditioning controls. Okay. We're going to take a look at the interior because the interior of this is uh, absolutely fascinating. Let me show the door here while I'm putting that back together. Now, if you notice, a lot of these ambulances, if, if you watch old movies or if you're from that time period they had curtains a lot of them okay sure but what they did for this car because it didn't have curtains it was an optional optional thing from millimedia called a vanishade ah. and this is if, if you needed privacy in the back of the ambulance you put these up in all the windows yeah and it was the best they could do for the time for the time yeah and it's kind of neat because they're like they're basically shades they just retract back into the door like oh, that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Let's take a look at this, the rest of the interior up in the front. Let's go into the cab. So here's our door and our seats, the big bench seat. Now, this fire department number, how did you get that? That's an inventory number. Okay. That would have been on the inventory number. Yeah. Where did you find the Motorola? The Motorola radio and the console. If, if you look at the gauges, uh, the gauges are all their sand and dirt in them. That's a representative of what this car looked like when I got it. And yeah, I didn't I change them just because yeah, it's kind the, of a memory as to how it was when I got the car. Keep the patina But the, the radio car. and all that stuff was in the car. And it was that's a special console made by Miller Meteor. That big round dial in the middle turns the batteries. The car has two batteries. This one? Right. Okay. It turns on the batteries. If you notice the keychain, it's an actual factory millimeter keychain. Oh, yeah. Now, if you look up, that's all the switching for all the lights, the sirens, all that stuff, the heat, the rear air and the heat. I would have missed that. I appreciate that. I'm looking at your cab light. You just go over here. That's the amp meter. Amp meter in this is real important to be able to monitor because of all the lighting on it. It draws a lot, but it's got a 150 amp uh, Delco Remy uh, alternator that they made. These things are huge. Let's uh, let's take a look under the hood, shall we? Sure. I 
Wow. There's the alternator I was talking about. That's it's got two batteries. So battery one, battery two, and that is a big alternator. That is a big alternator. I think maybe the biggest alternator I've ever seen in a this car. This is the original engine in this car. This car's got 63,000 miles. Wow. What is, is this our tag for the car? That's the bill of meteor tag. It's a little war. It's kind of hard to read, but it gives the factory colors and gives the, the body number and all that. This is pretty. Good to see you. This is pretty exciting, no doubt about it. This is the siren. Again, Chicago had con a lot of contracts with um, Mars, and um, Mars was pretty much predominantly Chicago's choice of lights and sirens. But this is an eight-inch Mars Commander. So let's do this. I'll hold this for a moment. Let's let's have you start it. Actually, it holds itself. Yeah, just be careful when it comes down. It comes down. Oh, yeah, it's got to be a lot of weight. <laughs> it's a navigator. It certainly looks like a camera. Really smooth. Oh, yeah. Shut this and we'll show everybody what the car is doing. Let's uh let me get a little exhaust note. Now we're gonna turn Go now we're gonna then we're gonna turn that horn on. Let me get a little exhaust note. Sounds smooth. A lot of them, the exhausts were routed in other spots because they didn't want them coming out the back door. Okay. Because I can hear it, but I can't see it. Is right. It, is it a little lower? It just comes, it's a little cup and it's just kind of cupped over. It's got a great sound though to it, doesn't yeah. it? Oh yeah. Well, it's a lot of cubes. It's, you know, 472 cubes. Yeah. 365 horse. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, turn on the, the horn is the last thing, the siren, I guess. All right. <laughs> And then we'll wrap this episode up. <coughs> ah! <laughs> Bruce, awesome vehicle, phenomenal job on the restoration, an amazing car. Thanks for being on my car story. Thanks. Thanks for having me.